you guys are watching Network 126 and here today I'm going to show you that hard drive from my previous video is your data safe the digital storage dilemma so as you can see I've got it already here with the USB cable already plugged in I'm gonna bring my solar panel this is my 5 watt panel so I'm going to set this one up over here I have this thing that I showed in the previous solar videos gives me a couple USB ports so this I can actually plug into that now something I found out though is if I just use one 5 watt panel alone this is what happens I thought it would be enough power initially it almost gives it enough power which is telling me that a 5 watt panel although it will charge your cell phone uh, very quickly um, it would still not theoretically be as powerful as plugging it into the wall charger but say hello to my new panel this is my new 10 watt panel there's a size comparison for you so actually we'll, we can put this one right here next to it this one I've got with another uh, cigarette lighter plug this one I had hooked into my car though to keep the battery maintained right there so uh, this one since it is this uh, male plug instead I can actually add it to the same chain of power Oh, and when I do that, the hard drive starts up. There it goes. So we've got about 15 watts feeding that right now. Running into my little power junction here running up via USB into a USB to SATA reader. Thanks for watching Network 126. If you found this video very enlightening, which I'm sure you probably did, don't lie. <laughs> you know you think this is cool. Um, subscribe to my channel and if anybody out there can afford to pitch me a few bucks to help me out as I am unemployed, can't even get a stable job flipping burgers in this economy, and yet I can do all this cool stuff. Anyway, adios.